Hello fellow researchers, I am Dr. Naresh Rakha, Professor of Preventive Veterinary Medicine. I am Doctorate in Immunology from the University of Liverpool, England and Postdoctoral Fellow with FAO and also at the University of Hokkaido, Japan. I have served as University Professor and Dean Postgraduate Studies. Currently, I am at Indian Institute of Technology, Roper. In this lesson, you will learn about the reference managers which can make writing bibliography very easy. I will be dealing with three questions and those are number one, what is the reference manager? Number two, what are the advantages of using a reference manager while writing the research article? And number three, which reference manager is good for you? Coming to the first question, what is reference manager? Actually, reference managers are software packages that can help you to build your own libraries which you can use to organize, sort and quote the references. Reference managers are either plugged in directly to the word processing software or to the web browsers. They automatically create bibliographies formatted to the target journal style as per their specific requirements. The second question is, what are the advantages of reference managers? The first important advantage is that reference managers automatically search relevant citations from the databases. Thereby, you create your own digital library of citations which you can later use to insert references in your manuscript. They actually insert coded information of the citation which refers back to your saved library. Depending on the specifications of the target journal's guidelines, these references may require the use of brackets, parentheses, superscripted text, bracketed superscripted text or commas to separate the author's name and date of publication etc etc all these formatting differences can be automatically adjusted by setting up the specification in the reference managers the second advantage is of creating bibliographies traditionally authors prefer to insert citations once they have finished drafting the paper they keep a large bibliography in a separate file in this method chances are that notes or marks made in the text may remain there itself when submitting article to the journal editor this can make your work appear careless work. Using a reference manager to manage the order in which citations appear in this bibliography can greatly reduce the amount of time you spend drafting an article. The third advantage of using the reference manager is collecting resources automatically from online databases. The most important use of reference managers is their ability to pull citations automatically from the internet search engines and store in your reference library. Large search engines such as Google Scholar even have gadgets that can be added to the results of peer-reviewed literature to quickly and accurately download references directly into your local library. These searches can be made using an identifier and a complete file of gets downloaded automatically. And the advantage number four, changing the reference system for the resubmission. If the research article is rejected from one journal, you should rewrite or reorganize manuscript for a new journal following different style of formatting of citations and bibliography. Reference managers can change formatting automatically once requirement of the target journal are specified. There are many formatting styles changing from one of these systems to another can be time confusing and confusing especially if you have to add a new reference to a numbered alphabetical bibliography. Additionally, the risk of incorrectly formatting a citation or bibliography could mean a poor re review or rejection from a journal. Reference managers, however, will reduce your time significantly by automatically making the necessary changes in bibliography order and numbering format. Now dealing with the third question that is which reference manager is good for you. There are several reference management tools available. The first choice should be the one which your institute or university is using. This will give you free access and opportunity to collaborate with fellow colleagues. If you need to have one for yourself, you can select one of the several products based on the features of ease of use, stability, price and available support. Here in this lesson, I will mention the seven most popular reference managers. In the next video, you can see practical demonstration of the most popular reference manager. Briefly, I will talk about these reference managers one by one. 
Number one is EndNote. EndNote is very popular reference manager. It allows the collection of references from online resources and PDFs. References from bibliographic databases can be imported into the EndNote libraries. Even full text can be imported. EndNote provides plugin for Microsoft Word and OpenOffice. EndNote does not have collaborative features. However, EndNote Web provides the functionality for collaboration with other users. You can give group members access to read and write the references and you can import references from their libraries. EndNote also integrates with other bibliographic tools. The second very popular reference manager is Mendeley. It is an excellent reference manager with features such as networking, collaborating and managing PDF files. It offers both a desktop and a web version with synchronized bibliographic information allowing access from several computers and collaboration with other users. PDF files can be imported into Mendeley desktop and metadata such as authors, title and journal are automatically extracted. It is possible to do a full text survey, highlight text in PDF and add sticky notes. The web version will recommend papers to you based on your profile and the content in their libraries. You can create both private and public groups and share papers and annotations. Mendeley is free to use but costs a monthly fee if the number of documents in Mendeley web or number of private group exceeds a certain limit. The third popular reference manager is uh, Jotero. Jotero can work with Firefox, Chrome or Safari. It also includes a hosted version in order to synchronize references across devices and shares them in private or public groups. You can collect and to organize a variety of web sources such as the citations, full text, web pages, images and audio files directly in the browser. Citations from Zotero can be integrated into Microsoft Word and OpenOffice. Next popular reference manager, RefWorks. RefWorks is a commercial web-based reference manager. The right-hand side utility enables the integration of references into Microsoft Word where in-text citations and reference lists can be formatted into various styles. RefWorks makes it easy to collaborate with others as all references are stored in the web-based version. The right and site utility can also work offline but is not the right tool for researchers with intermittent or poor internet quality. Number five, the reference manager called Papers. Papers is a commercial reference management software available for Mac, iPad, and PC. Its main strength is its excellent handling of PDF documents, including metadata extraction. And its polished user interface, whereas the collaborative features are less developed than in some of the other products. Papers uses the citation style language and provides a word processor plugin. So another popular reference manager is Jabref. Jabref is an open source bibliography reference manager popular with latex users. It runs on Java and is thus compatible with Windows, Linux and Mac. The strength of Jabref is that references can be formatted directly in latex thus providing access and control over a wide range of citation styles. Jabref provides direct search and downloads from PubMed and IEEE Explore. There are plugins for word processing program and also other Java based plugins which expand the general functionality. Another reference manager which is very popular is Site You Like. It is a free online reference manager and social bookmarking tool. References are primarily entered via a bookmarklet that captures bibliographic content in web pages. New entries are public by default and are added to the common library, but entries can be also made private. Users can assign tags to entries which make it easier to organize and search through the content. The social networking features are the strength of site you like. Users can create profiles, connect with other researchers and create and join groups where they can collaborate on library content. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope and I believe that this will be useful for those who have started writing the research articles. For other videos on how to write introduction, material methods, research, results, discussion, abstract, etc. Subscribe to this channel and keep watching all other videos. Thank you so much.